Dear friends, welcome to the fifth tutorial of Manmet Polymer Fiber series on nylon. In this tutorial, we shall cover introduction to nylon, manufacture of nylon 6, polymerization methods for nylon that is batch process and continuous process, mm -hmm. nylon spinning and its properties and applications. At the end of this tutorial, students will be able to write chemical structure of nylon polymer, list the methods for polymerization of nylon, explain the batch process for production of nylon, list the properties of nylon, give examples of applications of nylon, and describe the melt spinning process for nylon. Nylon is a polyamide manufactured from aliphatic monomers. It is characterized by a repeating amide group that is NHCO link. Nylons are identified as nylon 6, nylon 66, nylon 610, etc. depending upon the number of carbon atoms present in structural unit of monomer. It is produced by condensation reaction taking place between small molecules in which the linkage of the molecules occurs through the formation of amide groups. We have seen in tutorial 3 on condensation polymerization that during this reaction, elimination of byproduct molecule like water, hydrogen chloride or ammonia occurs. Nylon polymer is capable of being spun into filament in which structural elements are oriented in the direction of the axis. In this tutorial, we shall be learning only about nylon 6. Nylon 6 can be produced from both aminocopriac acid and its lectum. However, Caprolectum is widely used due to its method of preparation and purification. Caprolectum is converted to a linear polymer by adding a small quantity of water as pure anhydrous caprolectum does not polymerize alone when heated in a closed vessel. Water acts as initiator and breaks down the ring of lactams to form a linear chemical which on polymerization converts into polyamide. The polymer so formed as shown below is produced by self condensation of an amino acid. For production of nylon, the polymerization of caprolectum in industrial scale is carried out by three methods which is batch process, continuous process and integrated continuous process. We shall be seeing only the batch process in this tutorial. Batch process is a discontinuous process with two stages of reaction. In stage 1, the, it is carried out under super uh, atmospheric pressure conditions while the stage 2 of polymerization is under sub-atmospheric press pressure conditions. During stage 1, solid capro uh, caprolectum and water are fed into the melter that is the polymerization reactor. The jacket and coils for hot water circulation are main maintain the temperature of the melter. It is provided with a stirrer also. Vessel is heated up to temperature of 90 to 100, and 100 degrees centigrade. Stabilizer is added on completion of melting. The excess pressure is released through wall and the whole charge is then fed into the preheated autoclave through the melt filters. In the autoclave, the vacuum is applied to further remove water from the system to speed up 
the process of building up of molecular weight. The process reaches equilibrium at around 85 to 95 percent conversion in stage 2 of the polymerization. This is the maximum conver conversion percentage and the polymerization does not complete. The unreacted caprolactam is removed by flashing and recycling for production of the nylon. After completion of polymerization, the clear viscous melt is pressed by means of nitrogen pressure to the metering pumps and then to the spinnerets. Spaghetti goes up to casting well that is filled with water. The polymer is solidified into ribbon form and is drawn away by rollers to be fed into chip cutting machine. These chips are then dried to desired moisture content and used for spinning nylon filaments. The nylon polymer so formed has sufficient stability and viscosity for melt spinning. Here we will look at how the melt spinning of nylon polymer is carried out. The polymer is spun in molten state with velocity of 1500 meter per minute to 5000 meter per minute. Polymer chips are fed into the hopper. They are melted and homogenized using an extruder. The molten polymer from the extruder is then filtered and passed into the spinneret. The spinneret has number of holes through which it is extruded in the form of continuous filaments. These continuous filaments are in wet state and by passing a blast of air, the filaments get solidified. The fiber so formed is given spin finish for lubrication and moisture pickup. It is then collected on a package. Some of the important properties of nylon are density which is 1.14 gram per cc, moisture regain which is in the range of 4 to 4.5 at 65 percent relative humidity that is the standard lab conditions for testing. Melting temperature which is 250 to 260 degree C. Nylon is soluble in formic acid. This is used as one of the identification methods for nylon. It has excellent resistance to biological attacks. Some of the major applications of nylon are as textile material for apparels, as an umbrella fabric, bristles of different types of brushes, as ropes, hose pipe, cable tie wires, molded gear parts, adhesive tapes, to name a few. These are some of the references which you may refer for further reading. This brings us to the end of the fifth tutorial on nylon of man-made poly polymer fiber series.